Manny Nowak. This year, you will achieve your goals. Hello! Whoa, hello, it's Coach Manny Nowak, and it's great to be with you as we enter a brand new year. Are you ready? Have you got it planned out? Do you have your road map? That's what I'm here to help you with today. My name is Coach Manny. We're always here to move you from where you're at to where you want to be, helping you achieve a better world. And tonight, this year, you're going to achieve your goals. Forget what happened in the past. It doesn't matter. Forget what things you had to deal with in the past. It doesn't matter. This year, you're going to make it happen. Forget the that one-third of the people out there by the end of January already gave up. Forget that 90% don't get there. You are going to make it. And today, I'm going to share with you seven keys, seven secrets. And you know what I always say? I, I say, this isn't all there is. I don't have all the answers. This is seven. There might be 70. But these seven will help you. And if you follow them, watch what happens. So let's go through them. A minute. Number one, you have to limit the number of goals. How many people do you know, or maybe even you or I both have done it. I'm going to do this next year and this and this and this and this. I'm going to correct every problem in my life. I'm going to take care of everything I've ever done wrong. I'm going to fix it all next year. Here's my 87 goals for next year, and I'm committed. Forget it. My general rule is, on a business and professional side, two to five goals. On the personal side, one to three. And people say, are you kidding? You know, I can do so much. Then why do 90% of the people not do it? The first thing is two to five business or professional goals. That's it. One to three personal. If you make it, if you get all that, then you can create some more goals. It's okay. If you accomplish everything you set out to do by July 1st, you are a superstar. Set some more goals. There's nobody says that it has to be on a 12-month basis. Set some more. But the point I'm trying to say to you, key number one is limit the number of goals. Now our second point is commitment. How committed are you to those goals? How committed are you to making it happen? Have you taken ownership of those goals? Or are they just goals that fade away and go away? And we don't remember them anymore. How committed? Have you grabbed onto those goals and made them part of you? Because you see, first key number two is you've got to commit to them. But key number three is you've got to make the right goals. And what do I mean by that? Sometimes we set goals that we think we're supposed to do. We set goals that we think somebody else thinks we should do. We set goals that we think. We should do. But what about setting the right goals for you? If you set the right goals, then you have the commitment. If you set the right goals, you're probably going to make it. Let's move on. Number four. You know, I learned this from a fellow by the name of Brian Tracy, which those of you who follow a lot of... Uh, uh, professional education, know who Brian Tracy is. When I went to his first seminar, he said the incredible thing about write it down. And since that time, and that's been well over 10 years ago, I have been committed to writing them down. It drives me crazy when people say, these are my goals for next year. I said, let me see them on a piece of paper. Oh, I don't, I don't need to write them down. I'm, I'm going to make them happen. Forget, if they're not on paper, they're not going to happen. Key 
key number four, write them down. Now number five is one, I grew up a lot of my career in sales. And the one thing about sales that you can remember is, sales is about measurement. It's real easy. When you're a salesperson, you have a quota. This is what you are going to accomplish next year. This is the number that you're going to hit. And so you move forward. If you're a manager and you're running a division or you're running a company, you know this is the quota, so that's easily measured. But how many things are? How many things are vague? And often I ask people, are they vague on purpose? Are they vague because we really don't want to measure them? If I say, next year I'm committed, my goal is I'm going to exercise. That is totally unmeasurable. How are we going to measure whether you're exercising? How about, I'm going to exercise three days a week? Or how about even better, I'm going to walk four days a week. Every week in the next year, I am going to walk 208 days. Now, that's measurable, isn't it? Say weight loss, which is the big one, right? I'm going to lose weight and get in shape next year. How can you measure that? Goals have to be measurable. I love to do charts. You know those, what are they called, uh, where you keep going up and up and up and up and we, we get to the goal, right? It's like we fill in the blank. We start with this, this tube that's empty and at the top is a sales number. And as we go up, we see it filling in, we watch it happening. That's measurable. And you can do that for almost any goal. Number six. Here's where it really happens. Tell everybody. Tell everybody you know this is the goal. What does that create? That creates people to say, hey, Manny, how are you making out on that? You, you uh, exercising every week? Uh, yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean about that, though? When you think about it, making the commitment by telling other people. Somebody is always willing to hold you accountable, aren't they? They're always willing to say, did you lose that weight? Did you quit smoking? Did you make that number? Tell everybody. And keep telling them, because that's what makes it happen. And number seven, and I don't know if you can see that on the video or not, is a question mark. Because number seven, and this is no self-promotion, get yourself a coach. I've added that to the list this year because I believe that one of the most critical factors that you can ha make happen is accountability. And you just can't. I don't care how good you are. You need someone to keep you accountable. And a coach does that. Forget, you don't have to hire me. There are a lot of other good coaches out there. But the point is, having a person, even if it's only on a quarterly basis, you don't have to hire somebody that works with you every week or every other week. You can hire a coach that sits down with you every three months and goes through and says, here's the goals, here's what you said you were going to do, here's what's happening, what's going on, how do we adjust it, how do we make it happen. Get yourself a coach. This year, you can make your goals happen. Don't play with this. Go do it. These are seven keys. Limit the number. What I say? Two to five business, professional, one to three personal. Commit to them. Make the right goals. Write them down. Make them measurable. Tell everybody and get yourself somebody to keep you in line. This is Coach Manny Nowak. It's going to be a great year. I'm looking forward to working with you. I hope you're on our success team because every week we're having a call in. Every month we're doing an hour long video. This is the year you can get all the things you need to take you to the limit. To move from excellent to outstanding. My pleasure. I'll see you next week. Coach Manny Noah.